Hey, what's up, man? People crazy. Hot boy E here. The E is for Edmund coming to you with another video. And today I got some Mutt 22 news for you. We're taking a deeper dive. But before we get into that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we want to help 10,000 people get to 1 million coins before Christmas promo comes out in Mutt 22 this year. All right. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to be talking about much strategy cards, and we're also going to be talking about stats and how that's going to affect the market and affect coin making. So, all right, here we have the strategy cards. As you can see here, um, they have some offense and defense right there, but it says Elite Pasture, West Coast, and so on for the strategy cards. And now one of the big things that he did say about strategy cards where they are going to be available as actual items um so the way we used to get playbooks in the past and they used to come out in the packs so or the way we used to get coaches they will come out in packs where we get uniformly to come out in packs these cards are going to be coming out into packs um, they're going to be available by doing solos so you're going to be able to sell these cards and they are going to be auctionable now what does that mean for the market i don't know they're going to be introducing price ranges this year um, so it's not like you're going to be able to snipe it for like a super cheap amount and then turn around and flip it. I'm assuming that you're probably going to have to snipe at the lower of your range and then get at the top of the range. But we still don't know what it's looking like for the auction house with price ranges. So that's going to be a little different. But we do know these items are actually going to be in packs though. So that's one big thing to look out for is like looking to flipping these, these, these cards day one during EA Access when the promo comes out. Now, as far as how they're going to work, I'm assuming they're going to work like chemistry cards where you don't have to put Sprinter. He said you don't have to put Sprinter on 30 players. You don't have to put Brawl on 30 players. Um, I mean, that's going to be cool. I never did. I never powered up my team like that anyway. Um, but maybe if this is a more simplified version, then I will want to look into it. Um, but I think this is going to be a way to eat at least early on. So later in Madden, this probably won't be one of the better ways to eat. But as far as early on, when people don't really know what they're doing with these cards, people don't, don't really know what's going on, and they're selling for a decent amount, I think these are going to be very profitable to actually make coins off of. And as you can see here, all these do is just add the strategy items, strategy cards. All they do is add stats to your team. So... One play action pass, one plus one play action pass, tier two. You got throw deep, you got throw short, throw medium, scroll out of pocket, medium accuracy, deep accuracy. So, yeah, that's what that is going to affect when it comes down to strategy items. I think it's kind of cool. A more simplified version, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, with these strategy cards, you got to remember that there's going to be halftime adjustments. So, if you got... um your players powered up and you got them actually with their AP points on them and then you figure out somebody's doing something that you want to switch it up. So this would be kind of cool. Like if you start the, the first half for like Jamar, Lamar Jackson and you see this guy has a quarterback spy the whole time and then you want to go ahead and kick off and switch to Justin Herbert and then become a pocket pass on him because you see you're not going to be able to run the ball on him. This is actually going to be really cool. So I'm excited and looking forward to this. Vice versa with Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady, but I, mean, I just want a, a fast quarterback myself. But, yeah, you're going to be able to do things like this now, switch your AP points at halftime, so that's going to be kind of cool. Next part we want to get into is going to be stats. Now, coin making when it comes to stats, this is going to be absolutely fire. So the thing about it is, though, next-gen stats seem a little bit better than what the stats is going to be for current gen. So if you're on next gen, definitely listen up because this is going to be good for you. So you're going to see here, these are the regular stats for everybody. Rush attempts, rush charge, rush and touchdown. They're going to show this on the card. Show this versus users, versus, show this versus CPU. But in next gen, you're going to see how how fast the quarterback can release the ball, um, how high the, the wide receiver can jump. You're going to see things like that. So what you want to do is, and the day one you get the game, day two, day three, day four you get the game, and you see people are starting to play with the cards, go in there, look at stats, see who's releasing the ball the fastest, 
see who's jumping the highest, see who's hitting the hole the hardest, see who breaks the most tackles, and then those are going to be the budget beast cards. So basically all it is is saying what the budget beast cards are, get them at the low of their range, and then sell them at the top of their range. Look at it right here. You see that? So average time to throw the ball, it says, what, 3.5 or 4.5 milliseconds right there. So you're going to be able to see stats like that on next gen. All right? So remember, stats, look at the stats, best stats, sell those cards. Those are the cards that you want to go out there, hold on to them, and then um, sell them back once the game releases to everybody. All right. Peace out, guys. We'll